Hey everyone, today's video we'll be going over how to draw out an arch. It's really important that you watch how to make an arch calculating the radius video first so you understand the intersecting chord theorem. Here is a link to that video. Now before we get into drawing techniques, let's look at a few other methods. Starting with the drawing method. Say we want a 30 inch wide arch with an 8 inch rise. Start by drawing a center line that is square to the base and mark up 8 inches for the rise. Then mark the width of the arch at 30 inches. Next, draw a line from the rise to both edges. Now find and mark the center of both diagonal lines. From these center points, you can draw perpendicular lines that will intersect at the radius of the arc. You can probably see the bigger the arch, the harder it will become to draw accurately. And these steps are designed just to find the radius. Another way you can address this is by using two tape measures. Start by marking a straight line on your work surface as a reference. Next, draw the baseline of the arch on your piece. Then draw a center line that is square to the base. Also, square down the front and back edge. This is done so you can register your material on your reference line. Then mark 8 inches up on the center line for the rise. In this method, you don't need to draw the diagonal lines. Start by placing two nails, one at the top and one at the corner of the base. Either side is fine. Then using two tape measures, hook the tape on the nails. When the same measurement lines up on both tapes, and the reference line, that is the radius. From here, you can use a compass to draw the arch. But like the first example, you're doing several steps, each of which can add potential inaccuracies while spending more time doing it. And again, all this is done to acquire the radius. Now there is a third method using three nails and two sticks to draw out the arch. In this method, you're not concerned with the radius, but there are some limitations to this method and the way it's normally done lends itself to some inaccuracies. But this method can be useful on small to medium single arches by using less footprint to draw out the arch. If you're interested in using or improving your two stick method, I'll be making a video on how to do this. So hit the notification button so you know when it comes out. Now let's get into the tips and tricks of drawing arches. We know to draw an arch with a compass, we need the radius. The drawing and tape measure method both give you the radius, but use several steps and have a tendency for inaccuracies. So we'll be using the math method you saw in making an arch video. When drawing arches in my shop, I use my workbench. You can see I've drawn a straight line down the middle as a reference. With this setup, I can draw arches up to 8 foot radius. For example, I can draw a 10 foot wide by 24 inch tall arch. To demonstrate, let's use a 30 inch wide, 8 inch tall arch like we used in the earlier examples. First select a piece that is large enough for your arch and has a straight edge on the bottom. Next draw a center line that is perpendicular to the base and make a mark 8 inches up. Then extend those lines down the front and back edge. This will help you set the piece up with your registration line. Next, calculate the radius. Just like you learned in the video, 30 divided by two equals 15. 15 times 15 equals 225. 225 divided by eight equals 28.125. 28.125 plus eight equals 36.125. 36.125 divided by 2 equals 18.0625. So the radius is 18 and 1 16th of an inch. There's no drawing lines, setting nails, or using two tape measures, and it's dead on accurate. Next step is to draw the arch. I like to use a 3 quarter inch aluminum square tube. You can get this in multiple lengths 
Here's an eight foot one and a three foot one. Next are the trammel points. Both come with a metal point. I just replaced one point with a pencil to draw the arch. After that, it's as simple as setting the radius on your compass. Then place your pencil on the top of the arch and the point on the reference line. Then make a mark on the reference line where the point touches. This will come in handy if you're making a double arch. Now draw your arch. It's that simple. Now, if you need to draw a double arch, let's say you want the arch four inches wide, make a mark four inches down from the top of the arch, place the compass point back on the same spot you used to draw the original arch. This is where marking the spot comes in handy. For the bottom arc to be equal distance from the top, you have to use the same center point. Now move the marking side of the compass to the four inch mark and draw your arch. And that's how you draw an arch. Now, if you don't have trammel points or aluminum tubing, don't worry, you can use any piece of wood, a nail and a pencil. Matter of fact, you don't even need a straight piece of wood. You can see this piece is far from straight and it'll work just fine. Start by placing a nail at one end and measure up the distance of your radius. It doesn't matter if it's in the center of the piece or on either side. All that matters is the measurement is made in a straight line from the nail. Then mark the location and drill the appropriate size hole for your marker. Place your marker on top of the arch and the nail on the reference line, then draw your arch. If you plan to use this stick multiple times, then you can draw a straight line from end to end, making measuring a little easier. If you need to draw a large arch like the one here with a 17 foot, one and 23 30 seconds of an inch radius, here's some tips. This arch will be 96 inches wide with a 10 inch rise. That gives us a radius of 10 feet and 3 16 of an inch. I like to use my 100 foot tape for large radiuses. The end of the tape has a ring that I've filed a notch in, allowing it to rotate evenly. Before we can use the tape, we need to find the offset that the ring causes. This is pretty simple. Just set a nail on a flat surface, measure out as far as you can, the further the better. I marked nine feet, then hook the ring on the nail and check where it lands on the mark. The difference is your offset. In this case, it's seven eighths of an inch, meaning whatever the radius, I will mark seven eighths less on the tape making my measurement nine feet, 11 and five sixteenths of an inch. Because this tape only uses eighth inch marks, I like to use my ruler to get the exact point because hey, we're humans, not monkeys. Now, how do we use the tape in the most accurate way to draw the arch? We all know that placing your pencil in front of the tape and trying to draw an even arch, especially a large arch, usually doesn't end very well. Here's a trick to solve that problem. I use a hole punch to punch out a hole in the center of the tape that is the same diameter as my pencil. Now I can get a perfect arch. Next, I'm gonna set my pivot board on my work platform, which is just a piece of sheathing with a screw and a center line. Then place your pivot point at the right distance, attach a string to the screw and using the center line on the pivot and the workpiece, line the boards up. You can double check your setup by measuring both bottom corners. Remember, the radius is the same from the center to any surface in the circle. If the two bottom corners measure the same as the top, you are lined up correctly and you can draw your arch. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful. Please don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. I know it's easy to move on to the next video, but it really helps out the channel if you like and subscribe. So thank you and I'll see you next time.